what's going on guys Trevon here back with a new video and today we're going to take a look at the BenQ EX2780Q and I think I got that right on the first try but aside from that name this monitor is really cool and it offers a lot of bang for the buck it's 27 inches which is one of my favorite monitor sizes for gaming right now but before we get into the nitty gritty of everything I just want you guys to know that yes BenQ sent me this monitor but I was the one that personally email BenQ and I asked him please could I get this monitor for review because I really liked it I like that it has the 144 hertz refresh rate I usually use 100 hertz BenQ monitor but this one comes in at 144 hertz so it's super smooth when playing games it also has that built-in speaker that I really wanted and it has the new HDRI technology that is just a lot of new features that's built into this monitor that I was just really curious about and I just had to try it. So BenQ sent it for free, they didn't pay me or anything. I have my full creative freedom, I could say whatever I want about this monitor just to get that out there so you guys don't say oh you're biased, this, biased, that. I just wanted to set the, how do, what do you say, set the clay, set the, set a clean slate, something like that, but yeah. So now you know that, let's get started. All right, so the monitor took like a week to come. It came in like a cardboard box that like perfectly protects the product with an inner core cover. And it also organizes all the accessories, which was pretty cool. Now, in addition to the user manual and the driver disc, we find two pieces that form the stand and the base, which I really don't like, but we'll get into that later on. You also get a rubber base for the remote control, which is pretty cool. There's also a cable kit consisting of an HDMI 2.0, a USB-C and a power supply. So the monitor itself, it comes with an IPS panel, 10-bit color, the dead horse that I keep beating, the 141st refresh rate, HDRI, which is basically dynamic range combined with their brightness intelligence technology, which is really cool. And that's what I really wanted to test out as well. So that's, that's stuffed in here. We also have FreeSync and G-Sync compatibility via display port as an icing on the cake. Now in addition, it also specifies a typical 1000 by 1 contrast ratio and a dynamic contrast of 20M by 1, as well as a brightness of 350 nits that goes up to 400 nits in the mode HDRI. And yes, it looks perfect for gaming and of course movie watching. Now one of the biggest features of this monitor is their new HDRI technology. As said earlier, the I stands for intelligence and this feature taps into BenQ's brightness intelligence technology that I mentioned earlier. And it's meant to enhance the HDR content by fighting the overexposure in bright areas and improving contrast and color. So images looks really more dynamic, toning down the white areas. Now, while the monitor is VESA certified for 400 nits max brightness with HDR content, in HDRI mode, the monitor senses the amount of lighting in the room through an adaptive sensor that's placed on the bottom of the bezel this black bar right here i don't know if I, t I really love how the design looks but that sensor captures all the ambient lighting and it works its magic from down there so there are two hdri modes one for gaming and another one for cinema unlike most monitors this also offers a two watt speaker accompanied by a subwoofer which is five watts now all powered by a technology called true sound of Trivolo. Now after some time listening to the audio from games and movies as well as music, I felt that this monitor sounded like one of the few monitors where you won't instantly feel the need to add like a dedicated speaker. Now at max volume, the monitor's 2.1 channel speaker in the front along with the 5 watt subwoofer running along the back filled my bedroom easily. The sound overall wasn't overwhelmingly loud, but it maintained its max volume without distortion. Now, certain noises like gunshots and subsequent shouts in modern warfare or enemies popping out shields in Fortnite was very audible. Even subtle sounds like John Wick's katana swooshes came through clearly. Now, personally, the biggest downfall for me with this monitor is the stand. And as you can see, I do not have mine on the stand because I don't really like the stand it comes with. Don't get me wrong, the stand looks amazing, it's beautiful, I love the finish, it's sturdy, it's metal. I have it right here beside me, I never leave my boy right here. He also has some nice cable management at the back, but it, it just missed one main feature, and that's like adjusting the height. Like, why wouldn't they allow us to adjust the height? 
so yeah this base only allows you to bring it down on the horizontal line between negative 5 degrees and 20 degrees therefore it does not allow height adjustment something important for a monitor if we do not want to end up placing random books below so in my case i just bought this vivo vista mount from amazon which cost me around 30 dollars and i will also have links for the monitor arm that i use down below in the description it's really flexible you get to tilt you get to pan and you get to put your monitor where you exactly want it just like how every space should be now if we look around the back of the display we could see how around there looks really elegant with the design with a grid in the upper area where the subwoofer i have mentioned is hidden with the on-screen display menu controls in the lower left corner the ex 2780q's relatively modest selection of ports includes two hdmi ports one display input a usb-c port an audio out jack the USB-C port supports data transfer and video input as well as power delivery. Its menus are easier to navigate with the joystick than with the button-based control systems found in many monitors. But if the joystick isn't convenient enough, you can also control the on-screen display with an included remote, which is like one of the first I've ever seen. But it's really cool because you like could use this as a TV here in your bed, you could just turn it off. Now with the remote, you can access the on-screen menu, of course, you could enable the HDRI modes and control the volume with the touch of a button. Now there's also a volume control wheel on the bottom of the monitor near the left hand edge, which I use sometimes. The on-screen display offers seven main menu choices. You have the input, the picture, the color, audio, eye care, custom key, and system. Now from the input option, you could switch among the HDMI, the display port, and the USB-C inputs. The picture mode menu lets you control the brightness, the contrast, the sharpness, all to your heart's content. The color menu lets you choose among 11 color modes, including standard, low, blue light, three gaming modes, two custom modes if you want to customize any mode for your liking and a M book mode which is a macbook version of the display like i don't know what it means but i guess it's made for the macbooks you can also switch between hdr modes which is really cool now from the audio menu you not only can control the volume or mute the sound but you can also switch through five audio modes you have the live pop cinema which is my favorite dialogue and vocal which is good for like interviews you have the game option which is obviously good for games and rock and party which really boosts the bass when listening to music now toggling between them really offers a wide range of audio profiles that works best depending on what you're listening to i know the camera might not pick up the audio the best but this is what the audio on the benq ex 28 i forgot the name but let's just hear what the monitor sounds like Yes sir, I told you they were banging. So I ran a few tests using my own display cable because it only includes a HDMI cable in the box and therefore we could not take advantage of FreeSync technology. Now with a diagonal of 27 inches and a resolution of 2560 by 1440p, it offers 109 ppi which gives a great image definition. Although accustomed to a monitor of the same size but 4k, the difference is evident especially in text. Its multimedia approach requires a good color reproduction, although not at the level of models focus on photography, achieving 100% color accuracy in the sRGB palette attests to its good color reproduction, but it also reaches 90% of the Adobe RGB color gamut, so we could even use this monitor for semi-professional work like photography or design, which is well above the 85% that we already needed for doing stuff like that in the first place. I also edit a lot of my videos on here and the color reproduction is way better than any monitor that I usually use. Now I had two monitors, I, I obviously took this one down, but the monitor that I have before, it's 35 inches, I usually use it for video editing and I see myself using this monitor more for video editing even though it has that smaller screen, but because the color reproduction is so good, 
I just can't like I always have to go back to this monitor so what I started to do is edit on the 35 inch but use the viewfinder on this monitor so I can see the real colors when I'm color grading and it works out perfectly like that another thing that I found out is that when I'm like working on Photoshop and I'm printing out stuff the color that comes off with the pages that I print is really really close to what's on the monitor so that's already a plus now on screen here is a comparison of the values achieved by different monitors that have been tested with the calibrator seeing that although there's a step in front of professional models it is the non-pro models that are closest to them but if you reproduce multimedia content with HDR, you'll really make the most of its excellent colors for a really sensational reproduction. Now finally, let's talk about what you guys probably here for and it's the gaming experience and boy oh boy hasn't this thing raised my standards. So first and foremost I have to highlight that this beast performs immaculate in games. Although the response time is 5 milliseconds, the 144Hz is a clear jump in visual performance compared to what I've been using like the 60Hz and the 100Hz QHD displays. Also I honestly don't know if it's a huge difference from like 1 millisecond to 5 millisecond, but I guess all the millisecond counts when you're playing competitive games. I also really enjoy the built-in speakers from time to time as I mentioned earlier where I just want to do like missions and not have my headphones on my head, it's great audio. So on the gaming aspect, I mostly play games like Fortnite and I play Fortnite at a very high level. I also play Apex and Modern Warfare, but not as serious as Fortnite. Coming from previous BenQ 35 inch 100 hertz display, I can literally feel my character gliding across the screen as smooth as butter. Another thing is that I run all my games at 2K resolution, so it's just really beautiful scene. I also realized that I've improved in my reaction time department and have been winning more fights as of recently, and I just know it's because of that 144 hertz display. Overall, games really just look beautiful on here, man, and I just simply can't go back to a 1080p. Whenever I play games in 1080p, I feel sick, the quality looks pixelated, and I just got really spoiled with 144Hz on a 2K resolution monitor. Now, if you want to hop on the boat, you could find this BenQ EX2780Q for sale on Amazon or Best Buy for around 600 US dollars, but it's on sale now for 466 0.96 cents US dollars Well guys that was super unfortunate and this is probably the weirdest outro you've ever seen on a tech video But I was already on my way to Toronto as we speak. So as I mentioned in the video I think it's on sale now for $469 and it's a steal in my opinion Everything I mentioned in the video. I think I covered well. I promised Ben Q that I'd post the video yesterday And it's already the next day now so I'll have all the links down below in the description for this monitor and if I missed anything please let me know down below in the comments as well guys but yeah the monitor is solid and I'll never the only thing I'll change is probably to get it to 240 Hertz and have a better base that's the only downfall I found with the monitor so far but yeah that would increase the price of course and for the 469 dollar price tag it's definitely worth it as always guys love peace and tweaks signing out